Hello everyone, my name is Koifish, and today we are taking a look at one of the most fearsome Vikings that ever walked on this planet. This is of course a video in my series A to C in Crusader Kings 3, where I play as every stalking character in Crusader Kings 3. Today we are on the letter B, and if you don't count William, the bastard. I'm of course talking about none other than Björn Ironside, the Jarl of Upland, one of the coolest Vikings to have ever walked this planet. Best friends with Jarl Hasty. These guys literally went on a raiding adventure, taking them everywhere across the Mediterranean and even England, and technically 20% there to becoming Iron Man. <laughs> you get it? Today, we will take our Jarldom here of Upland and turn it into the empire of Scandinavia. That's right, Jarl Björn Ironside will become the true ruler of Scandinavia. But before we start, it would be very, very cool if you could give this video a like and a comment down below. It really helps to boost this video in the algorithm and lets more people find my channel. But less talking and more raiding. It is time to show you why Jarl Björn Ironside is one of the coolest characters you can play as. Especially if you're due to the game. You might have seen me do this strategy before. And that's logical because it's a really fun strategy to do. And especially great if you're a new player. Jarl Björn Ironside starts with the diplomacy lifestyle. Almost maxed out in the August tree. In the Majesty Focus, there is one perk that is super important when you're doing this strategy. True Ruler. Offer Vassalization Acceptance plus 20. On top of that, on top of that, Majesty Majesty Focus also gives us a bunch of prestige bonuses, like the flat prestige bonus of plus one a month, Firm Hand giving us 1% for each dread, Praetorian Guard giving us plus two for every night, Inspiring Rule giving us plus five percent prestige for every powerful vassal we have on the council, and so onwards. Prestige is important because as a tribal, we not only spend prestige to make our men at arms, but also pay upkeep in the form of prestige. Now this is different if you're playing as a feudal character, as those men at arms are paid with gold. Now why do we need vassalization acceptance and a lot of levies? Well you see, there is a way to quickly gain a lot of the land that belongs to the Jor Sweden, but also most of the Norse lands that belong to the Empire of Scandinavia, without technically having to fight a single war. Now I'll be moving on rather quickly with this, so if you want to see a breakdown where I take you step for step on how to conquer Sweden without declaring a single war, you can check out my guide to the diplomacy lifestyle. I'll post it in the description or on the screen right now. So less talking and more peaceful conquering, let me take over all of Sweden as fast as I possibly can. Right away, we're gonna send some money to Chieftain Ragnar Olafersson. Very cool. Starting off, we only need one more county to form the King of Sweden. Boom, we just got it. All we need now is 250 gold. That's super easy to get by just conquering a lot. This will make us become the rightful liege of all of the Swedish counts. From there, we will use snowball by having more troops than all of those around us and also being the same culture. Now, we're currently fighting in the Sons of Lothbrok invasion of Northumberland. I would usually just completely ignore this as we have no stake in this claim. But it so happens that you gain a whole lot of prestige when you fight as an ally in battles rather than the main aggressor. So raise the troops, my friends. We're going to fight in a war. King Eila Oswulfsson is the main target. So let's go for his capital. And right away, a great event, Leviathan. It behooves a yard to spend time at sea. We will, we will face a true leviathan of the deeps? A whale. If I slaughter it, I will gain 300 gold, enough to form the king of Sweden. But if I fail, I became wounded. Tell you what, fortune favors the bold, and I get wounded. Uh oh, tell you what, I should probably get myself a doctor. <laughs> Let's keep on sieging. If we siege, we have a chance to gain a prisoner, or at least a bit of money. We should try to join any war we possibly can. The Battle of Hexham. We're fighting alongside some of the other Brits. With a bit of luck, this will give us a prisoner that we can ransom. Uh oh, King Ayla died? Meaning we won the war? Meaning I get twins? God bless this, huh? It's a boy and a girl. Malmfrither is only one proper name. Tordis and Gandalfer, my two beautiful children, disband the troops and send them home. Now it's time. We will raise everyone as raiders and go and earn our pay. My favorite raiding targets early on is to go for Cornwall or the Irish Counts. They have small armies, but usually a whole lot of money in the capital. We will also hold a Grand Blood. The quicker we can get this done, the better. Let's start ransoming. 10 gold for this man? Sure. All right, 75 gold. That should be enough. We now pick up the August perk, giving us one more flat prestige a month and plus two diplomacy plus one marshal. That's absolutely great. 50 gold for this one kid. By ransoming this guy for a bit less than it's actually worth, I now have enough gold to form the kingdom of Sweden. But of course to do that, I will need one more duchy. How foolish of me. We will make the duchy of Bereslagen and then earn a little bit more gold. But what's that? I can actually vassalize 
Thorfinn of Vermaland. Great. Come here, my friend. Oh yeah, Sweden is growing already. Very nice. This time, we'll hit the Lords of the Baltics. Uh, it looks like someone else had the same idea. <laughs> In that case, we'll head for East Anglia. Looks like someone also had the same idea. Tell you what then, we shall go raid Asturias. They are busy with the war and their lands hold countless of riches. And Spanish bitches. No, I can't say that. <laughs> Hola, como estas? Dondo esta biblioteca? We are the Norse, we are mighty, we will go and we will fight thee. <laughs> hey, Steen, my friend! Oh my god, get yourself someone that will look at you as lovingly as your Björn looks at your hey, Steen. <laughs> My friend Hastin is so talented, the immense tactical acumen contained within his mind would put the finest commanders in the world to shame. Oh you, you flatterer. <laughs> Perhaps I can ask him to give some tips and tricks? Teach me Hastin, teach me! Oh, you learned nothing useful, but uh, thank him for his effort. <laughs> that, that's alright. We're gonna quickly head on back home, take our gold and form the kingdom of Sweden. Like me or not, I'm still gonna become your boss. Now, the fun starts. Since we are the mighty king of Sweden, these Norsemen will go like, Yo, I should be with that guy, letting us easily vassalize people. As not only do we have a difference in our tears, we're also the rightful liege of all the Swedes, and we have the true ruler perk. Very, very good. Time to blob. Now here comes an issue. Your Björn of Jämtaland is actually Norwegian. Therefore, we are not his rightful liege. Now this is easily fixed. We simply just throw money at him. And then he will join. We're basically buying their land. We'll also start swaying our brother, your secret snake in die. Currently, we are way too distant away from him. But when Småland joins, we're gonna be touching tips. And just like that, Sweden has grown. Since this guy has a lot of troops compared to us, we get a minus to him joining us. Now this is where the prestige kicks in. We can take the prestige and build one hell of an army. I'm thinking since we're gonna be fighting a lot in the north, the Vigmen have a bonus in Taiga, as well as the Huskards, not the Varangian veterans. Let's get some Huskards, and let's get a bunch of them. We'll also increase our Bundi and our Vigmen. This will bloat our army to insane sizes, and the, pro and the prestige hit we will offset by simply gaining more and more land and becoming more and more impressive. We can also raise rune stones. Let it say how I ascended the throne of Sweden. Now we continue by offering vassalage to those around us. While we're doing this, we can also conquer upwards. These people are of the Sami culture, not really Norse. They will never accept becoming vassals of us. So if you won't accept, we're just gonna have to conquer you. That's how the cookie crumbles. He's not willing to join you yet, so we simply offer him a concubine. Here you go, a random Irish woman. Enjoy. Ah, that made him really happy. And it will also let him join me. My bro literally traded a woman for his sovereignty. Based. Now off we go. I'm thinking this is all raided. So I think I'm gonna stop by my old friends, the Asturians. They hold a lot of wealth. Chieftain Magnus of Mary. Sure, you may join. And I can challenge Shiftes Auder. Shiftes Auder, the deep-minded. <gasps> That's the woman of Iceland. She's not willing to accept my vassalization as she's way too far away. But she's a fornicator. And that means that I have to do with her as the proper Norseman I am, wounded or not. The, the Norse police has to come. By doing this, I can gain a whole of gold. So let's do it. Oh my lord, she sent a short man instead. Who are you? And why are you simping for her? I got him! And we absolutely schmunked the guy. She's not even angry at me. Justice has been served. <laughs> Yeah, I beat up your son. Is he all right? Is your baby boy all right? Nope, I messed that. Him. I messed him up. I'm sorry, but it happens. This guy doesn't want to join, so we simply do. Uh -huh. And of course, he's very much welcome to join the kingdom now. This dwarf as well. Is this not a dwarf? Are you just naturally really short? In before, this is one of the developer characters. <laughs> Brittany, they are awfully weak. We shall go raid them, like true Vikings of old. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. He's still not willing to join. What do I need? I need him to stop being ambitious, that's for sure. Can I challenge him to... T <laughs> Can I fight him over being ambitious? Oh yeah, the loot is real. What are you guys, huh? Viking adventurers. Nice to see you. You mind if I just stop by and steal some of the loot? <laughs> You don't mind if I just skim some of the top while you attack, okay? The secret family on ice. Wow, I... I wasn't thinking of rebranding my content that much, but I guess we're doing an ice show now. Pa! Thordis cries, tugging at my sleeves almost as soon as I entered the snowbound courtyard. It's no good! I'm useless! I can't skate! The ice hates me! Listen, you little daughter! Of course you can skate! Let me explain it to you. This is how you balance yourself. Paste! Based father teaching her daughter how to ice skate. Oh my lord, that's, that's, that's adorable. I used to imagine Björn Iros are gelling at the ice. Wake up, Irishman! It's time to get raided! <laughs> oh yeah. The Irish are so easy to catch as their white skin makes them unable to hide anywhere. Let's go for Ducal Conquest. This will let us create titles a lot cheaper. Montaigu! Count Ragnar! Ka Based in! My friend! You 
were murdered. <gasps> Who could have done something like this? Maybe one of his countless enemies like King Charles the Bald. I must avenge him. I must avenge him. I will get my vengeance soon enough. Turvy, my son, my grandson. We're gonna dock here in the port. Take your nice bit of gold and disband the troops for now. This guy is paranoid and fickle, meaning he will probably not even join even though I throw money at him. In that case, just wait. They're not gonna live forever. Throw money at those that matters. Throw more money, get more land. Repeat, rinse and repeat until you made it all the way around. We should also see about increasing our holdings. Any holding that can give us a quick boost of money will be great. But we're not looking for money. We're looking for power. War camps gives us one more night and 10% night effectiveness. Knights are the bread and butter for Norse characters. Now, let's start taking land from the Finns. We'll start by doing the Conquer County on anyone that holds just one county. Now, we have one CB that we can use to gain a whole lot of land, and that is the Subjugate. We can do it on any character that is a tribal. Quellan, our brother here, you could easily subjugate his land and make him a vassal. The thing is, we only have one of these, and it would be better if he joins peacefully. Let's see about earning some more gold. Gold is the only limiter in how much land we can get. The more material we have to bribe people with, the better. For this fight, I think I'm gonna go all the way. We're gonna go all the way and raid this area. Steal from the Mediterranean. Leave nothing behind. Take everything. Time to raid Venice. That's never stupid. Venice is full of riches, full of gold. And just like that, your Sigurd can become our vassal. Welcome home, brother. I missed you dearly. That means that it's time to get this guy. Let the game run a bit, and it's minus 16. He's arrogant. That's a problem. We'll start swaying him anyhow. Hopefully, he can come around. Come to his senses, you know? Come to your senses and uh, come to Sweden. <laughs> Forced vassalization. That's a great perk. Raid the Italian states around this area. They are full of gold and have sons that are filthy rich and stupidly weak. I've been neglecting my court. We're gonna up the spending as we're earning a lot of gold. Hopefully, this will give us a better grandeur level. Something in line with what people expect from the gosh darn king of Sweden. Just like I said, fat Italian men sell for a lot on the market. A hundred gold. That gold goes straight to your Kjötve. So he can join my area. Nice. What about you, huh? Oh my lord. You're smunking him and taking his land over. That's great. That's the perk of being Norse. Your vassals will actually conquer for you, as they are that bloodthirsty. <laughs> riches, riches beyond my belief. It's time to have a grand bloot. This will cost a bit of gold, but it will give us a whole bunch of piety. The gods shall have their human blood. Blood for the god blood. <laughs> blood for the god blood. Blood blood. <laughs> Astanasios Spartanesos. You celibate man. If you celibate, you don't give a f about this. Goodbye. What about this little boy, huh? Eudoxius Spartanos. Listen, it's not too late for you. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what they call a pro gamer move. We're gonna recruit him and demand his conversion and put a hook on him, and then. <laughs> I'm gonna educate him myself and make him Norse. That's right, the Viking daycare has started again. I will teach this man to become a great steward, huh? Very good. Hey, can I rename you or is it too late? <laughs> is it too late? Are you gonna be called Exodius Spartanos? All right, whatever. I will take my massive amounts of gold, 216, and head back home. Chieftain Thorstein, what happened to your proud father, huh? I'm gonna send you some money. Sorry what happened to your dad. And uh, best of luck fighting in the war that my vassal is attacking you with. All right. Now this takes us to step two. Forming Scandinavia. Scandinavia, we will need 90 of the York counties, as well as two kingdom titles. Now that's not a problem. But you know what is a problem? Me not being able to get this guy into our area. So we're gonna do this. Form the kingdom of Norway for a measly 150 gold. As we are tribal and have the ducal conquest from the diplomacy lifestyle. It will also give us 400 prestige. Pushing us faster to illustrious. So we can conquer duchies. And while we're at it, why stop there? Let's make the Kingdom of Denmark for the same price. It is so funny that we're all friends fighting in England. But back home, oh no, it's not fun anymore. <laughs> Let's go. Let's give our brother a nice position. You will become the steward. And you will help me develop Uppland. But while we wait for that, we have some matters to attend to. I'm gonna take over Iceland one little bit at a time. Now, if we take this area, she would technically be willing to join. But she's a Catholic Norse. He then. This man would also like to join, but we're way too far away from him. So if we take this area from him by doing a county conquest, I mean, we could take all of these areas. They belong to Norway, so it's only fair. We'll also get a foothold on Iceland. Very nice. Now raise the lads and let's get on the boat. It's like the American island hopping campaign in Iwo Jima. Except we're not fighting the Japanese. I sure hope at least. My guest is trying to schmunk with me. Tell you what, you can. And even better, I'm gonna recruit you for 13 bucks and make you my concubine. Even though uh, there's no chance of children. Hey, you can still hit it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's time to get these islands. <laughs> Very good. Defensive negotiations is huge. As this gives us a plus 15 fellow vassal opinion. 
as well as plus 15 to independent rulers. If you didn't realize that yet, that means everyone. We can also get one alliance without marriage. That's huge. I think we captured everyone on the island. Well, let's ransom you back, huh? Tell you what, I'm not gonna bother with that. Take the land! Kirkujaveger! Wow, what a beautiful area. And what a nice name for it. Uh-oh! Our army just got absolutely schmunked in Torshavn. That's bad. That's real bad. That could have cost us an heir. Oh, well, we captured this woman at least. And her we can ransom, as we control all of her land. Thank you very much. These areas are a part of the Duchy of the Northern Isles. We'll form that duchy and give it to someone. I'm thinking we give it to this guy. Herder. The Nordeyer. Enjoy. Now, we should take our money and build more war camps. And just like that, I have gaslit the child to become Norse. <laughs> but I guess you can't get every Greek thing out of him. Oh, well. <laughs> Very good, very nice. I'm being called to war against who? Oh, King Charles. I will accept. Sure. No! What do you mean not one day too soon? Based wife died? Ah, infirm and melancholic. Tell you what, let's get another wife. Dala is probably the right pick. Honest, trusting, and content. Based wife, based wife. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, ah, wife, Mrs. Koifish, come here. Hello, are you carry? Are you can, just... I, can, can I say? You, you, you look just like Pedro Pascal now. Why? Glass and beard and mustache. Editor, put a picture up on me on screen right now. <laughs> no. I like Pedro. You like Pedro Pascal? How is my son doing? Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, wife. <laughs> if I can draw a build there. <laughs> <clears throat> now, here comes the kicker. We're not gonna go for anything else. Accomplished Forger isn't that great. It lets us buy artifact claims, but there's no artifacts that I want that I can't use steal. Shorter truces, eh, not a huge thing we really need. And if so, we can just come back. Now, the diplomat perk does give us better scheme power for personal schemes, like sway, befriend, and stuff like that. But to even do befriend, which is the strongest scheme, we need to earn it. So let's get it from the family hierarchy. And right away, we can start becoming friends with the people that rule our country. For example, your wagon. I wanna be your best friend, sir. One friend every year, just like in real life. Oh, wait, did he win? Oh, very cool. Now let's deal with this mess. This is the Duchy of Iceland. So let's give it to someone that's a very Icelandic person. Very cool. Now from here, we're now touching tips with this guy. Touching tips the Impaler. Oh my lord. That's terrifying. Great. We've conquered about as much as we possibly can. Except from this guy who's a Catholic. Wait, reclaim holy relics? What holy relics does he hold? <gasps> A branch of the shaken oak of Thor? Conquer, 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 conquer. Take it back, take it back. Come on. You can't steal land. You can't hold that. It's not, it's not yours to hold. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. War, 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 war. Fight, 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 fight. Now I get a cool relic. Thank you. And I'm gonna put that right here in my court. Everyone can look at it and laugh. <laughs> To think this was in the hands of a Christian. It's literally just a, a, a branch. <laughs> now comes step three. We have 67 of the counties and we need 90 of them. So let's continue a very long Swedish tradition and evade the Finns. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Finnadian. But the duchies here are massive. We can take all of this land in one duchy war. How the heck is that fair? Well, I'm not here to play fair with the Finns. I'm here to take their land. One war against you and one war against you. That costs a lot of prestige. So what is a good way to gain prestige? You should know by now. It's to create duchies. Norland. Brendalög. The kingdom of Denmark? Yeah, sure, why not? But it's better value to make duchies. They're cheaper and you get about as much. Tada! Lots and lots of prestige. Well, I also call in my massive ally to help me. A bit of prestige, sure. But hey, why not? Is this all we have? Oh no, some of them spawn over here. That's fine. Lots of troop movements over here. Interesting. Are you guys fighting? We will go for the chiefdom of Karelia. As we have help with taking over the other one. Nice. Who else has a lot of power and sway in my land? Jolhrane? Sure, we can become friends too. Now to fight the forest people. Oh yeah, it's fun being in Finland. Exodius Casarioson Spartanos! You're a Norseman! I've gaslit him properly! Now you marry someone, alright? We're gonna make the most adorable little children, okay? Gunhildir, off you go. I stole him from his homeland and I made him a knight in my realm. <laughs> I hold one too many duchies. Oh, Norland. Why would I control Norland? You. Hello, Finns, it's me. What? No, you died with the baby. No. New wife. That wife obviously wasn't capable of being wife. That's so sad. God damn. Cutie patootie, yeah? Hey, you little chiefess. God damn. Yeah, you can marry my son. Sure. Tell you what, I'm gonna hit that as well. <laughs> 
Hey, don't judge, don't judge. Oh yeah, we've taken land of the Finns. Thank you. Now comes a little problem. We have Finns in the realm, and they're not exactly vibing with us. So, we're gonna do what we do best, and promote cultural acceptance with the Finns. If we can't live with them, we have to make them us and live, and, 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 and then we're just living. Co-living, we become neighbors. Gosh damn it, I love the Finns. The Finns are so cool. Talking about loving the Finns, don't we have a little... Technically, technically not Norse boy with a really messed up name. Exodius Cartariuson. You come a long way. I bet this wasn't how you expected life to turn out, alright? But you are now this guy. Shift to Exodus Cartariuson son of Kuntupurja. Enjoy your new life. Oh yeah, it's time to fight the Finns. We're slowly running out of supplies. That's like a problem. Let's regain some supplies by not standing on top of each other. That should be beneficial. And Hastin, my son, becomes brave. When I said I was a father in that video, a lot of people thought I named my son Hasty. Of course I did. <laughs> but I can't say that. That's doxing my own kid. 100% true. Fact checkers have checked it's true. He wasn't joking. Let's get flexible truces. That will help us conquer faster. We've conquered Finland. Very, very good. Disband the lads, and let's see about forging the Joms Vikings. That's right, it's gonna cost a lot of prestige and a lot of piety, but <laughs> only Valhalla is worthy alone. Let's go, the Joms Vikings. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. We're only 12 away from forming the empire, and we've only played for 19 years. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. We also have this Joms Viking holy order. That's based, absolutely based. I have a stupid idea. Exodius, if you will survive for long enough, I'll make you the gosh darn king of Finland. I'm not even joking. I'll make you the gosh darn king of Finland. You heard me. All of these wars cost a lot to start. That's fine. We can regain it pretty easily. But other big duchies. Do we just conquer Finland completely? I mean, that feels the, that feels very safe. This time, however, we won't beat around the bush. Raise all of the lads in Finland as well as the Joms Viking volunteers. Knock, knock. The Viking world police is here and we're still gonna police you. God damn. This man is friends with all of his vassals. Bro, I'm on a personal first name base is with everyone. <laughs> That's Finland taken. Thank you. Well, you already know who I'm gonna give this land to. And his name is really weird. Enjoy. Are you a powerful duke enough yet to be put on the council? Who, who is this? John Erikir to, to attack me? A fellow Viking? That's it. I'm calling in my allies. You can't you can't walk in here with your, your with your GCs. Step on me like that. You can get Jordan of Pomerania. What kind of Northmen are you, huh? Just normal ones. Who controls Pomerania now? Your bugsick. Uh, yeah, li literally take the land. Sure, why not? And trading one Viking for another, and 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 your bugsick already holds land. Now we just got another way stronger vassal. It's a win-win, I say, a win-win. But for the love of God, I should probably befriend this man so he doesn't attack me. <laughs> and let's put him as the I don't know the chancellor. <laughs> Let's build up some domestic affairs. Bloody brilliant. Now, of course, that costs a bit of our prestige. Prestige we are using a lot of. But that doesn't matter. We can simply call a hunt. It's cheap, and it gives us a lot of prestige. What? No! No, you can't... Jorix, do... Do Coxus Casario... I was gonna hit that. Fine. But we're double teaming it. Gosh darn it. I take you all the way here from God knows where you've sorted. I give you power. I give you land. And you, you still... Gosh darn it. You absolute schmunk. And just like that, oh yeah, we've gotten Savo. That is a whole lot of land. We actually control almost enough to form the Empire of Scandinavia. Now all we need is seven more areas. But my health is quickly failing me. That's a problem. We will keep giving land away to this man. I guess because he, he deserves it for some reason. I take you all across the land and, and you do that. You go for the same do woman I was going to go for. Pfft, pitiful. But I do need to get my health up somehow. I changed to the medicine in focus and that should help it but i can also try to do this if i can romance my wife by singing a cool poem i might get some really great health benefits if she takes care of me if is the word here we'll also have her boost my learning learning isn't exactly tied to how bad was my learning before four oh my lord that's so low i guess it's not a very smart fella right what can i do to quickly gain land seven pieces to be exact well considering i'm gonna die anyways i might as well subjugate this guy that's uh one two three four five six seven are you kidding me that's exactly how many i need we need to quickly get a lot of prestige i inherited the jordom of northumbria no that's not the holy site oh i thought it was that would have been based hey, king halfdan dies brother oh i can't do it i can't what do we do on this land sure i guess we'll give it to gandalf enjoy being a jarl of northumbria we need some quick prestige 
I also have a lot of gold. Let's make a, an epic. The best author. And let's have it focus on prestige. Make me look real good in this one, alright? I have gotten a soulmate in my wife, which is great. That should help me with my health a little bit. But you know what else is great for the health? Let's go raiding! Come on! That's too many raiding parties. That's way too many raiding parties. You stop. You stop. You stop. And you two get united. And another perk. Anatomical studies. Let's see. Is this book any good? The Munzer Saga. Personal scheme success chance. Nice. A truly epic song of the glorious Munzer family. And the song goes as following. Somebody once told me Munzer was gonna roll me. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. Actually, that's enough prestige. Disband the raiders and let's subjugate this Finn once and for all. Come here. He's weak. He is pathetic. And most of all, he, he's a Sami. Take your reindeer and ride out of here. Gosh damn it, I love the Sami. Why do the Sami have such drip? All right, Durt Nusevet Adonu. It is time to fight. But for this one, we're just gonna call in the ballers. The Jobs Viking volunteers. Show me what you're made of. The full gosh darn force. Hammer of Thor on these men. Let's go. Oh, and a family dynasty. Strange gods. Why not go all the way in, huh? It's a tree I usually don't explore, as it's quite bad, honestly. But it does have some bonuses that I really, really appreciate. The Norse are here! Fear us! I can't vassalize Jarl Ivar of Söderöyr? Sure, why not? That's, that's like all of Scotland! <laughs> Let's go! Come on, conquer faster, conquer faster! We're in the Great North now, huh? Truly the Great North. Come on, fight the Finns! Just a bit more. Let's go! The subjugation war. We've taken the land, and with that, we can form the Gostarn Empire of Scandinavia! Let's go! And it only took me 23 years! Woo the High King! Now, what about this, huh? Who else could we vassalize? Jarl Vagn of Brittany? Absolutely! <laughs> we are insanely powerful! Oh yeah! <laughs> Wait, is this that daughter? No, it's a daughter that's a really old daughter. Tell you what, let's get, let's get you another husband, huh? No husband for you, I'll make you a shield maiden. I can't believe it! We have an empire! But now, we have to utilize this. Now, as a high king, an emperor, it is time to start setting things right. I promised a certain Greek lad a great kingdom. And uh, here you have it, the kingdom of Finland, with all of his duchies included. Best of luck. <laughs> king Exodixius Casariosus! Oh my god, what a lad! We also have this guy, Jarl Vagn of Brittany. We'll make him the king of said area. What more kingdoms do we have under our control? I assume the Norwegian area. Jarl Dog, my absolute shad friend. You can be king of Norway. Best of luck. Denmark, let's create it. And give it to my beautiful little... You're in prison. You alright, sir? Uh, he doesn't seem alright. As the Western Jutland is taking them over. That's cool. Well, uh, once you get this message, could you thank me for making you king of Denmark? Alright, <laughs> thank you. Ah, Ah, and that should be all of the titles given out. Now look at this. We have 2,000 prestige, losing some for the upkeep of our soldiers. But what can we do with that? Well, we can start conquering. We have one chance to invade any kingdom we want. Now where do we go? I do have an idea. We're gonna finish what our brother started. We will become the true heir of Ragnar Lothbrok. He gave me life. I am his son. King Alfred, England is ours. But to do so, we will have to slay our own brother. Oh, oh uh, that's awkward. I'm gonna stop. He's trying to kill you. You're trying to conquer the Duchy of Mercia. I'll accept, but that's like, dude, we, I was gonna go in. Oh my lord. I was gonna go in there. I was gonna go. No. All right. Well, let the man, let the man weaken him. When he's weakened, and he's weakened. How? Hopefully, right? They both knock each other out. That's a good idea. We'll test herself by attacking this guy instead. Attack the Scotsman, Alba Gubra. Oh yeah, the war is on. Who wants to buy a truce? Sirsi Panda. Yeah, sure, I'll accept it. No, my son! Gandalfur! Count Ermin Fulu will not get away with this. I hate you. Ah! Kill him, kill him. Don't let him run. Oh yeah, I captured King Ernst. Oh, uh, no, Hortnade, uh, one of his knights. All right, sure, whatever. We need something that will help Help us survive. Iron constitution, that's what we want. But our health is still poor. That's a problem. Meaning we could die at any moment. I took the stone of scone? <laughs> Oh yeah, and it's a whole lot of land. But I need to get my health up. Uh, maybe by becoming a friend of animals? <laughs> sure. Anything that will give me health. 
just anything. I'm, I'm like really, really old and dying. Decrepit. And, and King Ottar Halfdanson, he took all that land. But we don't have an alliance anymore. I can offer him vassalage, but it's very unlikely he's gonna accept considering he's a king. For a bit more prestige, I can do that, but it also holds too many counties. We could do this, however. Take the Joldom of Jorvik. I have the Invade Kingdom for all of England. Or perhaps I get revenge on Hastin and take over the land of the Franks. I have to be clever. King or not, he still, may, he still might join me. We have to be smart about this. Listen, King Ottar, I have something I need to do. And you hold Joldom of Jorvik. Let me take it from you. Civil War Viking Edition. Let's go. Arise, my champions. Arise. Oh yeah, we've taken Jorvik. Boom. Hey, you haven't forgotten, have you? We can reform the faith. Let's go! Wait, who's this in my prison? Earl Ragnar! You're, you're the son of Hastin! Oh my lord, listen! Uh, my my dude! You, you're free to go! Just leave! I can't kill I can't kill you! You're free to go, leave! Get out of here before anyone sees you! A lot of nieces and nephews here since I took over Jorvik. Sure, we'll recruit them. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Listen, Jarl Iliana Gandalf's daughter! <gasps> the my granddaughter, of course, of course you shall rule this area. You are the true ruler of this place. I can't believe this. The Dane law split and, and the King Ragnar is so weak. What? King Halfdan must have died and the whole realm split with him. Yet there is still a chance. I will take King Alfred's England. But first, I will claim this man's land. Claim the title as the head of the house. Give it to me. And with this claim, I will take all of the Dane law in one fell swoop. But that's not enough. All of these small petty counts, their lands shall be mine. You just because you break away from one of us doesn't mean you're free forever. Let's go. I still draw breath. I am still alive. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. We captured the man himself. And we steal the Dane Law banner. Now we hold rightful claim. And we take the Dane Law. Now quickly, push in. I can vassalize this man. Sure, come here. Oi ya. Oi. Oh, let me fix this mess. Scandinavia grows ever massive. Now there is just one more target. England! I will finish what my father started. The full revenge! Come here! Let's go! Up! Move it! Let's go! Listen, we're gonna pull a pro gamer move, alright? This man will become the executioner. <laughs> And this man will be executed. Please, we need control. Come on, conquer faster. Next up, the Barney of Bath. I've never taken a bath in my whole life. But now we've captured it. The revolt is gonna strike in a month, but we're almost winning. I have one last idea. This is a Cumbrian Catholic uprising. The Cumbrians are Anglo-Saxon, right? So what if we... God forgive me for this. But I'm gonna have to hybridize with them. <sighs> we're gonna have to do it. There's no other way. We are the Scandinavian. The Scandinavian in hybridization a new age a new era a new people did that fist the revolt yeah you're not as angry anymore are you huh come on give up seriously i did all of, i did all of that please 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 <laughs> please we've taken england it's ours now to stop this pitiful revolt and just like that we peaced them out. No, my friend, I'm not joining a war. Disband my troops and look upon my creation. A massive Scandinavia. Truly a worthy heir of Ragnar. At the age of 72, High King Bjorn Ironside have lived through a lot. Oh yeah, we were supposed to do this too. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, this is not good. Please fix, fix it. No, you cut off my penis. Ah! Imprison her and then sacrifice her to the gods. With this pity, I shall quickly before I breathe out proclaim that we are a reformed faith. Ah! Oh, the last thing I do is to raise a runestone to my enemy, King Ethelwulf. On this runestone in Uppland, you should write, I did my darn best and I am King Bjorn Ironside! Aye. Seriously, they remember me as a hunter. Gosh darn it. And that, my friends, will have to be it. Bjorn Ironside is a great character if you're a beginner at Crusader Kings or a veteran and want to play something that is absolutely wild has Vikings in it and lots of potential to become the great big blue blob. I hope you liked this video. If you did, support the channel by giving the video a like and a comment down below. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, say Scandinavian, my dudes. Yeet!